Hello, James speaking. Oh, yeah, g'day, mate. Sorry. Um, my name's Tim. How are you? Good, mate. How are you? Mate, I uh, wonder if you can help me out of a slightly sticky situation. I'm just about to go into a job interview at an accounting firm. I've got to, I've got to put like a references down on a list. I don't have enough to fill it up. I've, I've just, I don't know why, but I just, I've written down a random number and I just thought I'd call it to see if it's a real thing. It's your number. Yeah. Oh, so you've just pulled this out of nowhere. Yeah, go on. <laughs> well, I, I just didn't want to leave an empty list, but then it's occurred to me they might call it, but I doubt they will. But if someone calls you and says, do you know Tim Barnard? Yeah. Can yeah, you I just say you used to work for, what, what jobs are for? I'm going for a job as an, at an accounting firm, but just say that it, I'm just going to I'm put you down as a personal reference. Yeah, sweet. I'll just say I know you from way back, blah, blah, blah. I'll say you're a ripper bloke. You know, I've got you covered. Is that all right? Yeah, not a problem, dude. Mate, you're a legend. I'm going in like one minute. I mean, I doubt you'll get a call, but if you do, Tim Barnard. Yeah, yeah, sweet. There's no worries, dude. Thank you, really James. Easy. Cheers. See you, mate. Have a good one. Good Bye-bye. luck with it. Hello, James speaking. Oh, hi. It's Graham Byrne there. Is that James? Yes. Great. Uh, it's Graeme here. From, I'm calling from Kells & Co. We're an accounting firm. I've just come out of an interview with a friend of yours, Tim Barnard. Oh, um, yes, yes, yes. Yes, um, who looked to be a great candidate, so we thought we'd uh, make our way back uh, through the references quite promptly. Um, you know Tim? Yeah, I know Tim on a personal level. I've known him for a few years now. Um, we, go, we go back a fair while. How long have you known Tim? Uh, I've known Tim for probably oh, 10 years old. H- how did you guys become friends? Through footy, the footy club. Right, fantastic. Didn't strike me as a as a footy player. Um, oh, it wasn't really a play. He just more come in as a as a uh, spectator sort of thing. Oh yes, helping out around the club. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. He'll be dealing with um, higher end uh, companies in his role, businesses of profits of a million dollars plus. Does he known to be good with money? Do you know anything about that? Uh, from my understanding, like he'd, he'd help out a lot um, with a few fundraisers and stuff like that. Yep. Um, so yeah, as far as I know. Mm-hmm. Um, Any other examples of him taking on responsibility? He helps out the treasurer a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Um, um, and yeah, he does that a fair bit. How many languages does uh, does Tim speak? Do you know? From what I know, I know it's definitely two. Um, yeah. yeah, that's we've got that one down here uh, as well. That's all right. I was just double checking. Oh, I know of though. Yes. What was the other one in addition to English? Good question. I don't know. I'm I'm complete Australian, so I never really speak it to. Him. I just know he does. Yeah. Right. Just knew he's bilingual. Um, yeah. He. That's right. no, sorry. Sorry. I can't be sort of out there. That's all right. Just describe to us the best um, the best thing about him, appearance wise. Parents wise, well, what you see is pretty much what you get with him. He um, he's just he, he's a go getter, and and when he says to, that things are going to be done, they get done. Fantastic, uh-huh. sorry, James. <laughs> James, sorry, James. mate. It's Hamish and Andy here, James. Oh, you're kidding, <laughs> James, mate. You are the best guy in the world. You're the best bloke in the world, James.